Hi, this is Mike Scott, the digital trainer for the Institute for Journalism and Natural Resources. The following is what would have been a demonstration of Document Cloud in the Energy on the Move program. So today we're going to show you how to upload and also to embed a document. We're on the documentcloud.org page here under the Institute for Journalism and Natural Resources. Now you can either start a new project and name it whatever you would like. Uh, if you were starting uploading a series of documents on a story you were working on, you could create your own new project. But we're going to just look at the Energy on the Move um, project and start with new documents here. So you click New Documents and you can pick them off anywhere. If you have a jump drive or your desktop, and you can see here we have a number of them stored, which are already in there, but I'm doing this as a demo. So let's go ahead and look at this one that's misspelled here, but it should be the Fatigue document. It's a PDF, and I hit Upload and I'm going to correct the spelling for starters <clears throat> and I'll call it fatigue example and you click to make the document public if you're going to want to embed it in a uh, story and then you can either click email me when the uploaded document is finished or you can leave it alone because there are other documents that are being processed the reason you have an email is because it may take a while. These do not take very long, and I haven't bothered to usually haven't sent me an email, but you can see here it's sitting here in processing. But we've already uploaded this one earlier. It's 82 pages long, and you can see here that I've already uploaded this one, so it's in there already. Uh, but generally, the reason you want to make it public is so that you can embed it into a story, and you make it private if you're going to work on it for a while before you go ahead and do it. So the next step, what we're going to show you here is how to take a document and embed it in your story. So here you have the document, you open it up, and under the tools it says embed this document. Now you see the first line says related article URL. If you've already had a story that's been published, you could link to it right here so that when readers search out the document, they'll also find your story. You can see the document's public, so that it would be uh, able to be published. Now you can change the access level if you're not going to publish it right away. You see there's public access listed first. Anyone on the internet can search and view the document. Or private access, if you and other colleagues wanted to work on the access, or work on the story uh, together. And then private only to our account, the Institute for Journalism and Natural Resources. Uh, it says no freelancers there. That means that it's as it one news organization, no one else could jump in, but uh, IJNR is open to freelancers, and that's why we're giving you access. So anyways, we're saving it as a public document for now. So we're going to embed this document, and click Next, and it walks you through it. If you want to see a full-size document viewer at the bottom of your story or at the top of your story, you could do that. If you want to change it to a fixed size, a uh, certain width, we uh, at previous publications where I worked, we went 360 uh, pixels wide by, I think, 215 or 205. Uh, long, and uh, you would uh, click on to or click off rather to show the sidebar because it does tend to clutter it up. So I tend to take that part out. But you would need some help with uh, your um, IT people to make sure that you can embed the story correctly so that it would uh, flush right or flush left, depending on what you want. But anyways, you click next, and you'll get the HTML code. For some people, this is very scary. For other people, it's quite simple. Just cut and paste it and you're done and you can Im embed that in a story on your blog or on your newspaper site or your radio site or your television site. It's really that simple. Again, you may need some help along the way because every publication is different. Some help to say how is this going to look on the blog page, but it's really quite easy to do uh, from your end. For information on how to analyze a document cloud document and how to become a member through the Institute for Journalism and Natural Resources, you can watch the other video in our series. And also, if you need to contact me, my contact information is below.